Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I decided, because why not, to do a spoiler review, spoiler talk for IT Chapter 2. There was so much that I wanted to talk about more in detail, so let's just jump right into it. At the beginning, the very first scene of the movie, I mean, besides them reshowing the scene uh, at the end of the first film with the Losers Club and the pact that they made and whatnot, that's very important. It's a promise that brings everyone back together. But I'm talking about the gay couple who were at the carnival and they get followed by that gang who who just beat the holy crap out of them, especially one of the guys in particular. Just brutal, brutal beat down. Obviously, it's a hate crime. And it was hard to watch, <laughs> man. This is the film that's about a killer clown eating kids. And trust me, those scenes were hard to watch as well. But for some reason, for whatever reason, this scene just rang too true to the type of crap that we have to see today. You know, this scene, I know it's from the book. I know it's like the first uh, opening actions of the book. But to see it on screen, to see it in today's world and how much more relevant it is to today's society man i'm just i'm telling you they went for it and that led into pennywise eating one of the guys who was not only beaten up but dropped into the water so again brutal uh you could argue that maybe it's not necessary i mean sure pennywise eats one of them but is it necessary to show such a horrible horrible thing in a movie that's about something else and i'll just say this the first film, the first movie, It, did a good job of showing you that, yes, Pennywise is screwed up. He is the main antagonist. He is the one that we're afraid of and, and that we should be afraid of. But also, just the town of Derry itself has a lot of messed up people there. Just a lot of other evil things going on in just the normal, regular world. And this proved to be that as well. And that's just how I took it. As Mike is calling everyone on the phone and basically saying, hey, it's starting up again. You need to come back. And he calls each and every single one of them. Stan Lee kills himself. And and that was, it came off more at the beginning that he was afraid and that he just couldn't face Pennywise again. He couldn't face the town again. And so he took the, quote, easy way out. And it's not till you get to the end of the movie where I guess I can bounce back and forth because it's spoilers at the very end of the movie he writes everyone a letter that says that he didn't do it in a cowardly way he didn't do it for those reasons he did it because he knew that he was too weak to fight pennywise he was too afraid and so he wasn't doing it out of fear or out of hey i'm i'm done with life no he did it because he thought the other members of the group would have a better shot at defeating Pennywise if he took himself off the board. And that makes you think about suicide in a different way. And I'm not sure if I like that stance on suicide. I I don't know. I'm very question mark about that. I just, I, I mean, I get what they're going for. I just, I don't know. I don't know if you want to frame somebody killing themselves in that way especially because he was somebody who had a wife um and and just it seems brutal it does pennywise in this movie is brutal speaking of brutal i mean he yes the in the first movie seeing him eat georgie was hard to watch and it is probably the most effed up scene in my opinion of that first film this movie doubles down on that and says all right you know what not only are we going to see pennywise eat this one little girl underneath the bleachers of a baseball game going on that was scary because i mean that little girl was way too cute and just way too i mean hell she was smart when she saw pennywise and he was trying to say that oh they're friends and whatnot at first she's like f you dude you're in the dark and you're creepy looking and like oh, you know you're not my friend f off and then of course he plays to her innocence and i think this is what perfectly shows why Pennywise does go after kids because they're easily uh, influenced, they're easily manipulated. But you see that not only does he make her feel bad and says that he's bullied just like she's bullied, but she has a uh, 
birthmark or a just a mark in general on her face and he promises her that he can take it away and this this gets her to trust him more and then he bites her face just like it it was brutal it shocked me it's one of those things where i was expecting maybe her mom to find her which where the hell was her mom and why did her mom let her walk away aimlessly like this by herself uh, or just anyone else i thought somebody would save her at the last minute horror movies almost never hurt kids or show you kids getting killed i mean it's been a long time since i've seen something like that so this movie played to that very well when he was counting three two or one two three and then he didn't get the three and he was salivating at the idea of eating her and then she even said you're supposed to say and then he eats her gross gross stuff and then he eats the other kid when poor james mcavoy bill goes to the carnival to save that little boy who he was warned was going to get killed and they're in that two-way mirror fun house and and McAvoy watches this kid get eaten by Pennywise. It's hard to watch. This scene, some of the scene is in uh, one of the trailers, so I knew it was coming, but I honestly thought like are they really going to have this kid die like that. We've already seen one little girl get killed, so he has to save this one, especially because he was blaming himself for not being there for Georgie, so he has to save. I just figured narrative-wise, um, arc-wise for Bill that he had to save the kid, and then he just he doesn't. And so, once again, that was hard to watch, but it also made Pennywise that much more threatening, that much more capable as a villain, that much more scary, in my opinion. The Bill... Beverly Ben Triangle. It wasn't as in your face and as annoying as I thought it may be, so I appreciated that. Beverly having the feelings that she had for Bill carries over from the first movie. And Ben being there, he wrote her the poem. He he he's always longed for her, but it just doesn't really work out. I I like I do like that they end up together, Ben and Beverly. I do. It's just you didn't get enough of 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 Bill's wife and their dynamic. Are they happy together? It's hard to tell. I think the movie doesn't have a stance on that either way, so I didn't know how to feel either way. Bill Hader as Richie is the best part of the film, at least as far as the characters go, the the, the grown-up characters go. I found it to be a nice surprise that his character was gay. You had that one flashback of of the younger version of him at the arcade and just like that was an interesting twist pennywise then using that as i know your secret and trying to uh, scare him with that secret it's just it it was it was what i wanted from this movie pennywise using more grown-up fears against the adults because they are grown up now as opposed to when they were kids and it was maybe easier to scare them when they were kids you could argue that the film itself is too long. Maybe there's too many scenes of each and every individual character going off to grab their own item that they needed. And so Pennywise has to scare each and every one of them. And I watched a review of, of, of Double Toasted, if anybody watches them, and them talk about how Pennywise has a chance to kill and eat every single one, and, and he doesn't do it. Now, I know that he's trying to make them more and more afraid because it makes them taste better, or the the smell of fear is that much better when they're more afraid. So I guess that's why he, Pennywise does this. I guess that's why Pennywise is kind of just screwing with them throughout the whole film. But you do sit there and wonder, why isn't he at least trying to kill them a little bit more? It, it does make him seem negligent or makes him seem like he just doesn't know what the hell he's doing at this point the very end of the film yes you have this ritual that mike was able to figure out with these native americans very trippy i mean you know the movie does go to a place where you go what are we doing this and then some of pennywise's backstory i don't know how much i care to know about the backstory i knew we were going to get it I knew that going in. I know even the miniseries has their version of the backstory. I don't know what the backstory is in the novel. But, you know, it's here. It's fine. It's whatever. Seeing Pennywise as a spider, look, it was handled better here than it was in the miniseries. I thought in the miniseries it looked horrible, and I just thought it was horrible. I still don't love seeing him as a spider. It just it didn't. It wasn't as scary to me as when he's just in his normal clown getup. 
but I'm sure other people appreciated seeing this this creature version of him. The idea that all they had to do was make him think he was small and they defeated him. I mean, I like it in theory. I do. It's almost like with Freddy Krueger. You have to take away the fear. You have to take away his power. And only you have the power to do that. So I like the idea. I do. I just feel like them bullying Pennywise to say, Hi, you're a clown. Hi, you're nothing. You're this and you're that. It just... It, it, it came off a little awkward. It came off a little too easy. And, and if it wasn't for the emotional um, scene the death of Eddie and how much I cared about that and Richie's reaction to it. If it wasn't for all of that, maybe I wouldn't have felt it as much as I did. Overall, I think the defeating of Pennywise maybe was a little too easy. And and I, for as long as the movie was, it's almost three hours long, I do wish that it was more intricate or more clever. Either way, the film as a whole, I do enjoy. I do get a lot more enjoyment out of it. I think that it's dark. It does go to places that you don't see horror movies go anymore. I think it's also smarter than what most horror movies that I see nowadays. And maybe you could argue that I gave this a full price because I'm so used to bad horror. I'm so used to just lazy, dumbed down, crappy acting. All of these things that I rant all the time about horror movies. The fact that this movie was at least competent, the fact that this movie was well shot, well acted, and and sure, for all of its faults, I, I still, I'm going to grade it on the curve. I'm going to say for as far as horror goes, it is up there. One of my favorite horror movies of the year. Maybe that's not saying much. So guys, let me know in the comments below. Spoiler time here. What was some of your favorite moments in the movie? Some of your favorite scenes? Uh, did you like the movie overall? If not, tell me why specifically. What scene did you not like? What actor, character did you not like? Did you enjoy the ending? Do you agree it was too easy to kill Pennywise? Do you want to see an It Chapter 3? Maybe a prequel? Maybe something you can just, hell, let's just bring them back? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Later!